Welcome, everybody. Hello, everybody. How you doing, yeah. Gary? Let's see here, Brian. Hey, Alonda. And Standing Stones. Welcome, everybody, to the show. Uh, Denise. Hello there, Denise. So, don't they, uh, what do they need to get ready if they're going to participate? Yes. What you need to do is, if you have loose tea, put a pinch in the bottom of your cup, not a whole lot, and get yourself some boiling water, and you're going to get a saucer, and you're going to take the boiling water and put it in with their pinch of tea, and you're going to, after you do that, you're going to steep it. That's putting the saucer on top of your cup and only fill it half half a cup so you don't have to drink a whole cup and what you do is you sip and turn and you got to drink all your tea because if you don't that's tears and it's gonna leave um the tea like this and you're gonna read the pictures in your cup make sure it's a white cup because you can't read a black cup Wow, then, that makes sense. <laughs> well, some people have dark, you know, cups. So, and um, it's a lot of fun. So, and then Grizzly will pop you into the room. If yeah. Because I have to see, you have to tilt your cup and let me see it. You know, like I'll show you, like on the lip, you read from the top down, like on the top right here. Hey, Kimmy. There's like a number one, so that means something's going to happen in a month. And then in the bottom here, there's like a giant A. If you look at the bottom C, well, I got it upside down. Whoops. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. And that means I'm going to meet somebody with an A. I just got T all over my computer. <laughs> and um, <laughs> then there's like a giant number four. If you look right there, that means something's going to happen in four months. I got um, the month of, there's like a C too, upside down right by the four. See the upside down C? Yeah. You know, that means I'm going to meet somebody with a C. And then there's like a, <clears throat> a butterfly that's transformation. And then there's three dots, right? Let's see if I can poke it. Three dots, that means within three days. Let's see what else we got. I have, uh, whoops, trying to do this. I'm not used to the thing. There, like right here, that is a person. So I got a lady coming in. That looks like in the two-month mark. I do have some tea on the bottom of my cup, so that's tears, you know, but you get the gist of it. Does that make sense? Wow. Wow. And it's a lot of fun. You can see all kinds of stuff. I'll look at it more and see what else I see here. Um, Hello, Lauren. Everybody, welcome to the show. Yeah, that is like very interesting. Yeah, I, I've never then, seen this done before. And then I have a duck, right? Whoops, where's the duck? Right here's a duck. That's a duck. See the duck? Okay, right yeah, here? I see the yeah. duck. That means family. That's a symbol for family. Let's see what else. Um. Let's see, on this other side, we got, let me see what else we got. I have a huge bird, so that means messages, so things like that. There you go. But, and, and it's a lot of fun, and it, it can tell you what you're doing and all that, and it makes pictures as you drink it. Well, that's very interesting. Isn't that something? 
my mom so my mom um and i used to do it all the time she taught me how to do it so it's just a lot of fun so this is what you do during your tea parties yeah i do professional tea parties yes i do wow unbelievable hello lala welcome to the show thank you I've i even cannot believe it. that i've even done it at real fancy places and they say do we have to drink the tea yeah i said and here's your napkin and they say what's the napkin for i said for patchouli patchouli as you're sipping the tea through your teeth <laughs> wow that is wild. Is anybody else in the audience going to try this? I want to see your all's cup of tea, mate. Yes. I do. I want to see I want to see what you're all doing. I, I mean, is anybody else going to try this? Somebody do it. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up to the comments. Uh, hello there. Hello, hello Lala. everybody. So that is, uh, so you talk about this all the time. Hello, Rita. Welcome to the show, Rita Thompson. Uh, that's uh, very interesting. I mean, I heard you talk about this all the time, you know, since I met you. I never knew that's how you did it. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's, that's very interesting. And it's a lot of fun. It's light. It's happy, you know, and... It, it's just a lot of, and I, before COVID, I went to a little tea shop and I did readings there for everybody. And she would do, give me a little bit of money to do it. And she would do a sandwich, soup and tea leaf reading. So that was a lot of fun. All right, Lala, you got to All right. Tell Lala what she has to do. All right. So you get your teacup or your mug. And it has to be a white one. And you, you sprinkle some loose tea, a couple pinches in the bottom of your cup. And you get royal, rolling boil your water. And then pour your water in the cup and then put a saucer over it to steep it. And then only do half a cup. That way you aren't drinking a whole cup. Make sure it's cool enough and you sip and turn. What you're going to do is you're going to sip and turn the cup and sip. And if one falls or whatever, that's fine. But you want to drink all the liquid because in the bottom of it, if you have liquid, it's tears. And you don't want all that. Yeah, so tell tell Bob to get the water bowl and in the microwave or on the stove. I want I mean, we gotta have some experimentation going on here, ladies and gentlemen. And it's gonna be fun. Yolanda's making dinner. Well, that's okay. But you can try it on your own too. Yeah, that's that's what she wants. She was gonna she's gonna do a tea reading for yeah, you. You're, yeah, you're gonna have the tea leaf reading. You gotta drink the tea though. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta yeah get your get your tea going. And it's, and it's it's so neat because when you're drinking a cup of tea, it infuses the tea with your energy. So as you're drinking the tea, the tea leaves will fall where they need to be. For you. All right. So La La is up to the challenge, ladies Yay! and gentlemen. <laughs> so she is uh, up and running and getting her tea. She's the holler at Bob it right now. Doesn't matter how you turn clockwise or counterclockwise. It's however you'd want to drink it. Very interesting. Brian, do not use your sweet and low. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and don't put if you're getting a tea leaf reading, it's it's not good to use too big of tea or cream. It makes it icky. All right. Hey Nicole, welcome to the show too. Nice to see you. One so. girl says, what if she don't like tea? Pinch your nose and sip it and, and sip and yeah. turn. Uh, hey, there's some stuff that I drank when I was young that I didn't like it either. But you know, I mean, that's I mean, about the only, only way to do it, hon. Um, because you know you can't really do. I mean, I've heard um, other 
people doing co coffee grind readings, but eh. you know, yuck. Yeah, Brian, I figured you get a good kick out of that, right? Yeah. Welcome to the show, uh, Ann Williams. Uh, hopefully you're going to participate in, in this tea reading challenge thing. Uh, yeah, I know Yolanda, right? <laughs> I, I I just saw Brian with this uh, five-pound bag of sweet and low box. <laughs> you know, looking at his wife like, should I? Anyway. Well, it, you know, it's okay to put honey or sugar in it if you want, you know. But, you know, don't put cream in it because it makes it not, it's hard. <laughs> Welcome, Leah, Agent Smith. Uh, so there's two questions why people are getting prepped. Uh, one of them is, uh, let's see here. I think I passed it up. Nilda, uh, she wants to know if she can just have a general reading while they're getting her tea prep. Okay. Well, you have, uh, like a, you have lots of changes happening and you're going through a cycle change and you're go you're a nine so that means you complete things so every nine years you change your life and then um you could have a a position offered you work wise so there's something like that coming up for you there you go and ann williams same thing she said that a few minutes ago too uh she wants to know, uh, well, she actually asked for a general rating, but she asked for a specific one. Uh, should I ask the, the question she asked? Yeah, or? what did she want to know? Okay. Uh, she wants to know, is there a future together ahead for me and Mike, please? Is there a commitment coming like an engagement marriage for us? Uh, I yeah, hate to yeah. ask those questions because I don't want to break people's hearts. Well, you guys are working on it. You love each other and it's evolving. So there's a good potential there. There you go. There you go, Ann. He it's loves nice, you man. and you love him and it's mutual admiration society. <laughs> oh, no, la, la. Uh-uh. You got to get your tea out. You got to get your tea, la, la. I can do a reading for her and her tea. Um, <laughs> so she's getting a twofer. Um, well, you got lots of expansion coming up for you. Um, you are going to get a new guide. Um, huh, there is a contract around you, but you're going to have to hire a lawyer. So make sure that, um, you have somebody to cover your back. There you go, Lala. Does she did she have a son yet? Does she have a child yet? Lala, she's asking your question. I'll let you answer that. Yes, yeah, she does. Okay. He's very, very uh, ma mathematical and mechanical. So just be aware of that. Mechanically inclined. There you go. There we go. Say that fast 500 times. <laughs> yeah, right. Absolutely. Uh, la la, check your instant messages. Yes, I sent you a message. So uh, I, 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 I just kind of laughed when uh, she gave you that message because I told you before. She says, "Oh, thank you. He's so smart." <laughs> so yes. So, Lala, uh, are you going to do the tea, too? I'm excited. I want somebody to do the tea. That's right, Gary. Tell people. 
the hammer that like button. Help me like the show. That's right. I appreciate that. Grizzly Kelly Joe want me to put creamer in the sweet and low. So I got to tell Kelly the inside joke off the air. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. What yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's got to deal with Bigfoot woo woo. Oh, okay. It, yeah, he put in a sweet and low box, put in the freezer. And he likes that like cocaine, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cocaine, so, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Yolanda, Gary, and Williams. Uh, uh, do you uh, do you see when commitment will come for Mike? Oh, she wants to know when do you see a commitment will come for Mike? Well, you got his heart now. I'm I'm thinking that'll be more involved by fall. Don't doubt yourself, Ann. Have faith. All right. Hey, Lala, what's, what's science Bob up to? Have Bob fix your tea while you're finishing your mascara. So, so yeah, Yolanda, I know she's fine without it, right? Ryan, that was a good show last night, Gary Spike says. I heard it would turn out really good. I'm very proud of you. But, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, thanks, Ann Williams says. So, you're Absolutely. Welcome. But yeah, so I want to see somebody to sip and turn the tea, and I want to see somebody's tea cup. <laughs> so thank you for doing that, Lala. Yes. But so it's that, it's amazing to meet all the different people too doing tea leaf readings. It's it's fun. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. I I, I had no idea that I, I mean. I pictured just looking like Nostradamus, right? Uh, looking into a bowl of water. I, that's what I thought you were doing. Well, you know? that's uh, th that's called scrying. When you look yes. in a mirror or a bowl of water, you can scry. Same with like a crystal ball or something like that. You can see images form. Hmm. Standing stones. Does Kelly think I should stay where I'm at work at the hospital at this job or I'm looking at it or I have a lot of balls in the air right now? What should I do? Well, I see a, a opportunity to make more money at another job and you be able to do that. And I see better hours. Do you work night shift? I see. see what he say. might he might be able to do day shift. No, mostly evenings, he says. Okay. Good. And weekends. Okay. But you're very good at what you do. You're very good. You're good with people. That's very interesting, Standing Stones. How about driving a school bus? I don't know if he could take all the energy behind him with all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. <laughs> well, that would drive me crazy, too. I don't know if I can handle the stress. I'm already <laughs> bald as it is, but right? You're, you're in your career, hun. You're doing what you should be doing, Standing Stones. Interesting. He says, I know. Uh, you, would be, you would um, be bored to death if you didn't do what you do because you like the excitement of it. Now, Brian Barber says, I don't drink tea, but I would love to. I would love anything for me. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can get on you, Brian. You have like a main job and then two other opportunities coming up. So you got three balls in the air and he's going to write a book. I see him writing a book. 
He's laughing. Why are you laughing? Yeah, we can't see the C, C word standing stones on the air. Just no sweet and slow. slow. I can't even say it, Gary. Just no sweet and low. I can't even say sweet and low. <laughs> sweet and slow. Uh, uh, Brian, did you even indicate or even thought about writing a book? You, you sit there and tell me you did not smile or giggle at all. Stan Stone said, oh. Now, are you, is he thinking about buying another piece of property with a, uh, like a vacation home or something? Yes, totally. See, now, are you thinking about writing a book? Because there's a book in his future. I'm going to explain something to you why, why I'm asking you this question about okay. this book. Who, me? Brian. Oh, okay. why, why Kelly's saying this to you. And I'm going to explain to Brian why. Have you thought about writing a book? Brian's looking at his computer like, what? Yeah, she thought about writing a book. Okay. Now, when Kelly first told me about my book, I laughed at her. I'm like, I ain't writing no book. Guess what? Mine should be done by September, October. Me. So, yes. Uh, Carol, do you see me ever relocating close to water in the next few years? Yes. I I see like a... Huh. It's like where two bodies of water meet. So, like maybe an intercoastal or something like that. Yes. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see here. Ryan says yes. Thing about Ryan, uh, Denise. Uh, anything in general for her? Now there was another lady that wanted to know about something creative. Uh oh! Did I miss one? Yeah, somebody was said that. I don't know who that was. The lady that wants to know about something creative happening. Um, now, do you do uh, art? Because you might be doing some more art. Um, and then I also see you pa painting an inside of your house, too. You're changing the colors of a... You'll do an accent wall. Where do you see that one at? I don't know. I saw it. I really did. I don't know. Somebody needs to pipe up and tell us what that was. Who that was. Pipe up, whoever said that. Um, okay, now Denise. There. Yeah, that was Yolanda. Oh, okay. Okay. I knew I was talking to somebody. All right. All right. All okay. Right. okay. You, I was like, whoa. All right. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Now, Denise, can I have a reading? You need to trust yourself more. Quit doubting. And um, you're going to get to go on vacation with a girlfriend. You're going to go to Europe. It looks like next year. So there's Denise's. And then Nicole. Boy, you're doing all kinds of changes. Um, you're going from east to west. So I don't know what that's about. Are you thinking of changing? I don't know if it's your house. It could be business. Um, and then you're going to start your own business. That's what I'm seeing for you. Okay. And Eric wants to know, when am I going to start selling? Selling what? Stuff? Yes. Oh, his stuff? Now. Yeah, he does the the uh, podcasty things. Yeah. And then, yeah, you're going to do it on uh, 
different platforms, like two or three different platforms. Yeah, I got to get them scheduled. That's my fault, Eric. Yeah, I see like uh, uh, some form that does the, the it's for paranormal, and then he's going to do um, like um, eBay and uh, um, what's the other thing? There's another one. It's a virtual, I don't know, there's three of them. So I don't know the name of them, but there's three of them. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing for him. Everybody's saying thank you. You're thank welcome. You. And Denise says, uh, wow, my sister's going to Sicily next year. She East to West. Might, might invite you. Uh, Aussie Sue, Kelly Joel, you see anything happening in my life in the near future? Will I find another soulmate, please? Yes. Yes. And he's from, is Wales close to Australia? He's from South uh, Wales. I don't know geography at all, unless South, I see it psychically. That's uh, South Wales is in uh, UK. Okay. But he's a Wales person. Interesting. Does that make sense? Hello, Lady Wolf. Welcome to the show, stranger. Hello. Agent Smith, is my life going to finally go in the right direction starting in September? Absolutely. A whole new beginning for you, a whole new cycle. You went through the You've had to wear your hip waders all the way underneath your armpits. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to be okay. <laughs> Eric says, I know what she's talking about. Thanks, Kelly Joe. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yes. Hello there, Donna. Welcome to the show. And improvement um, for a agent... Um, uh, Health, wealth, and prosperity. That's what they're saying. So that's interesting. You know, it's so. Wow, wow, where's your tea? So. Her and her mascara. So, yeah. All right, crazy witch. Much love to you, too. So. Mm, interesting. But I didn't know tea people did that. See, I thought it was just she just looked at the tea floating in your cup. Nope. Nope. Got to drink it. And this gentleman will be somebody um, that can be a long-term loving, kind, sweet relationship bossy. So, Not to mm. mention he's very handsome. Oh, Aussie Sue, does this resonate with you? I got to know now. He's like 5'11", fit. Um, and you'll, you'll meet him through a friend of a friend. She says, very interesting. I do have friends in the UK, but they're all happily married, but I keep my eye out for the stranger. Interesting. Yep. There you go. Hey, just miss this. Agents, Thank now. you so much. Yeah. Yeah, we're uh, La La with, yeah, Eric, Eric's even asking where is La La with her tea, <laughs> mate? So. Yeah, make sure, Aussie, when you, when you meet this guy, you send a picture in so we can plaster it so we can take a look. I'm excited for her. She hasn't wanted to be with anybody in a long time. Wow. Awesome. That is great. Do you ever get bored doing this or is it always oh, fun? And it's always fun and interesting. I love my job. <laughs> you meet interesting people. I mean, 
how these these people are trusting me to get all over up in their energy. Right, right. You know what I mean? That's an honor too. Think yeah, about it. Yeah. I'm all over in their energy. Yeah, that is. That, you're right. That is. And let me do my disclaimer. This is what I see at this point in time if energy keeps going the way it's going. Things can change. Nothing's written in concrete. And <clears throat> you can do a raspberry at it any time. There you go. <laughs> yes. You know, one person we haven't heard, we haven't heard from Kimmy. Kimmy, are you still here? Hmm. Let's see here. We got a new comment here. Lady Wolf, Agent Smith. A.D. Smith almost died last week. My best friend turned on me. Long story. Too much going to another person who's working against me. Who claims to be in my life. It's crazy. Sorry to hear that. It's terrible to go uh, through. Yes, that's not cool. No, it's, it's gonna not. be okay. All right. Lady Wolf wants to know if I'm safe. I'm I'm not in the eye of the hurricane, but we're getting all the bands. It's gonna hit the west coast. So we do have to watch out for the bands and tornadoes and stuff. And that's going to last till Thursday. So we're just being watchful. And Nicole says, I appreciate you, Kelly Joe. You're welcome. So, yes. And we need to pray for Carol Ann, everybody. Put her underneath the bubble of protection because she's over on the West Coast. She's in so yeah she's what right in the path isn't she she's in sarasota so yeah so well somebody else asked a question where i know we're, we're getting dead air here right it's not sorry, like about, us. sorry about that she says, Aussie Seuss, thank you, Kelly Joe. Never fell in love. Uh, looks definitely you'll get a picture, Grizzly. That's right. Grizzly is inquiring mine, wants to know. So, yes. Oh, All I know right. that. Go ahead. I, I know that, Aussie Sue, but it's nice to have someone nice to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, by the way, Grizz, I understand you're you're a busy man. Yes, I know. I got to get you on and out, right? Absolutely. Uh, Nicole, what energy of the current Mercury retrograde? Well, everything um, is, if you haven't dealt with something, it'll be revisited. So that's the energy of this Mercury, I can talk, Mercury retrograde. There we go. Agent Smith, he says, he's, he's protecting, doing a protection pair. Thank you for my friend. Yes. And Yolanda just dropped the bomb. She wants to know, did we ever land on the moon? Yes, we did. All right. And uh, welcome to the show, Lucy. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, actually, Grizz, the book I thought about writing was about Bigfoot. It was about surviving the self inflicting death of my dad because the son uh, had a 500 increase of the same. So far, I'm still here. Yes. So, yeah. But let me tell you something. Everything that Kelly Joe has told me has always come to pass. You know, I didn't believe her in the beginning. Months and months and months later, it came to pass. So uh, I'm getting Texas and instant messages. So why does everybody always want to know about my life? So I, I'll let Kelly devil in my love life. So when will I make my soulmate? There you go. I threw she's, it out there. She's right around the corner. She's right in your backyard. Um, I'm seeing a giant J. 
and a B. So I don't know if the B is the first name or the the B is the last name or the J is the last name or the first name. But I'm seeing initials J and a B. Um, she does have blonde, blonde, blonde hair. Um, she has blue eyes. She's medium built. Um, maybe five, four, five, five. Um, she's high waisted, so she looks like she's leggy. Mm -hmm. um, she's divorced and she has two kids that are grown. Mm hmm. Interesting. And it looks like you're open to me in. Could meet her in the wintertime because I hear crunchy snow. Interesting. You know how you walk in the snow and it crunches. Right. And it's crispy. I can feel my breath. Hello, Prince Alast. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? Interesting. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Are she want that? Well, I'm getting texts and instant messages. What about you, Grizz? What about you? So I, why not? You know, y'all want to know? I'll throw it out there. Uh, Carol, what about my soulmate, Kelly Joe? Not for a couple of years yet, but I hear the name Michael, and it's spelled with E A. I hear the name Michael, and he's alive. Um, he's tall, six foot one. Was in the military, but he's not all goofy. You know, some people have post-traumatic stress, but he don't. Right. Um, he has four grown kids, all grown up, two, three boys and a girl. And he comes from Midwest because he cuts his A's and E's short. And sometimes he has a goatee and sometimes he don't. I think in the winter he has it and then the summer he shaves it off. He's very, very neat and clean. Mm, and he's a good, awesome. and he's a good cook. Awesome. Marianne Murphy, do you have a message for me from the other side, please? Your grandmother is with you. That's on your mom's side. And who is it that was the piano player? You have a grandma that used to pay, play piano, maybe for church. And then um, she has a gentleman that was only like five, six, and he played the trombone. Has a connection with Chicago. Because he's saying the Windy City, that's Chicago. So if you look in your ancestry, um, he also had a lot of men that did factory work because you got a lot of. Now, does she have an Italian in the family? It's either Welch or Italian. I don't know if Murphy's uh, passed out at the at the keyboard or shock or. Yes. Italian. There you go. Because you got all your ancestry. Lots of little, you know, the the huge rib caged men. Mm. And Denise, come on, baby, let's play this game. Come on, baby, let's play the game of love. <laughs> Anybody coming into my life? Denise wants to know. You aren't open to it yet. Open up. You think about it for two minutes, then you're over it. <laughs> Denise! But I if, your heart. But if you're open to it, you have a chance to meet someone in January of next year. Um, he feels like he's five... 11 and a half. He has straight um, sandy blonde hair with white in it. 
He has thick hair, clean shaven, square jawline. He's broke his nose. His nose is a little crooked. Um, he has the wonderful man hands. You love a man's hands. And he has nice hands. And now he hasn't worked hard because he has soft hands. But um, he's very uh, intellectually stimulating. And you like to meet a man in the mind first. So not to mention you're attracted to him. Um, he feels like he is divorced. And he has one girl. So that's what I see with him. Interesting. Now, uh, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Now, you want to see Kelly freak out? You want to see buy, Kelly? Did you buy another doll? <laughs> they just no. told me. Okay. No, no. But look, look, look. I can't even talk. Look at the question. <laughs> yeah, they will. They're going to be on the mischief. So there you go, Brian. And the Grizzlies doll is going to steal another show this week. The first time I showed her one of my dolls, I thought her face was going to melt. And then she gave me a lecture. So, yes. And Eric says, I got girly hands. I got a bad mental picture right there, Eric. Uh, Brian, we're here for you if you need help. Don't worry about that. We're all we're all family. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Lucy. Oh, nice. Uh, Kelly Joe. Yolanda is my Kelly Joe is my neighbor across the street. Nice or naughty. What? Are you, wait, Yolanda, what are you doing? Do you, you want my binoculars? <laughs> what, the, what is she talking about? <laughs> I have what? no idea. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's a joke going on. I don't know. About. I have Sorry, no I don't idea. Get, I don't. Get I, don't it. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I, uh, anyway, Lucy wants to know. <laughs> Will she find somebody soon? Yes, but not till she'll meet somebody and it won't work out at first, you know, and then the second one that she meets will be a forever. So one will be over the hump and then the forever guy. And uh, the forever guy feels like a J name like Jason, John, something like that. Um, he's six foot four. Um, blonde hair, brown eyes. Very creative, very spiritual, very sweet. So that's what I'm getting. And Denise, I'll oh, go ahead. I also... Um, I think that he works with a mental job. That's what I'm getting. And Denise okay. says, so true. LOL. I love a man's hand. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Elliott. Do I have any messages from my cousin or my grandmother who passed away? Kelly Joe. Well, your grandma's been in your room and she's trying to comfort you. And then your cousin, he's he's been he's the one that's been knocking stuff over. Aha. Uh -huh. Lucy says, thank you very much. You're welcome. Lucy says, okay, a, a nice love, tall man. She loves <laughs> tall men. I can't. She says, thank you. You're welcome. I still can't believe Lady Wolf was asking about her neighbor being naughty or, or whatever. I mean. <laughs> I, I I think Lala is 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 uh steeping her tea a little too long, ladies and gentlemen. Uh 
So I know she's got a show coming up, very important interview with the director. So oh, good. I'm Lady Wolf, I'm I'm good and missed seeing you here. Uh, Kelly, fun, uh, Kelly says, funny you should say that. A few weeks ago, uh, he was making a really loud tapping noise in my bedroom. Yeah, that was him. Interesting. So... Unbelievable. Hope I didn't miss anybody. I thought I missed somebody. Did I miss anybody? Because I was jumping around in the comments. If I did, shout out real quick. Uh, I don't want to miss anybody up before we wrap up. So, uh, Lucy says, so I live alone last night. I smelled someone smoking a cigar. Should I worry? It was after midnight. No, it was one of your relatives. It was your grandpa. Oh, interesting. Oh, Prince of Lust, uh, me and my roommate. Yes, gee, I did miss you. Thank you. Went to uh, Matarella Museum in Florida to go see Robert the Doll. Ooh. All right, Judy Greenfield. You Somehow you stopped your energy you're gonna start moving forward your stagnation is over so you better get ready <laughs> and last question kelly wants to know do i still have the victorian little girl that comes and visits me kelly yes yeah, she's your one of your guides well that's interesting to know yeah and uh, let me put up your information here. Let's see here. I meant to do that earlier, and and, I, and somebody got me laughing hysterically, and I forgot to throw it up there, where you can reach <laughs> Kelly Joe. There's her website and her Gmail, where you can email her to get in contact and with her. You can get a reading from me, and that's what I do for a living. So, so yeah. If you want more. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a lot, it's a lot more private too, and it's a lot more in depth, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, she she can only cover so much on the air. So Kelly Elliott says, "Okay." Judy says, "Thank you." You're welcome. I guess she's not coming back. What happened to Lala? Yeah, probably not. Not that kind of naughty grizz. Well, I didn't know it was the way that you put it, Yolanda. It made us all wonder. It's like, hang on. I mean, you wouldn't believe the pair of binoculars I got. It looks like you're on a naval ship, the, some of the ones I've got. So, Kelly Elliott says, good to know. Uh, so, yes. But anyways... But yes, but ladies and gentlemen, make sure to get a hold of Kelly. There's her website and everything. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the show. Thank you. And uh, and from coast to coast and around the world, that's a wrap. And we'll catch you on the next show, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.